Hi, this is Brent Arnold and we're back inside of Flex Builder. And what I want to do is import the project from part one of this tutorial. To do that, let's go ahead and click File and choose Import and Flex Project. Then we want to navigate to the map example.zip file that you've downloaded from my website. And so I'll click that and choose Finish and this will import into Flex Builder. Now notice there are some errors and the reason for this is because I don't include the UMAP SWIC file. You'll have to download that yourself. So what I'll do is go and copy that back into our project. And so once I add this to the libs folder then Flex Builder will refresh and all those errors will go away. So let's open the project and let's review what we've done. We've got our map control. We've created a new map and added it to this stage. And we've got a zoom and map type and position controls. So let's go ahead and test that and see what that looks like. And it opens in the browser and we have our map. Now what I want to do today is show you two things that we can do. One is to add a marker so that you can show a point on a map and the other is to change the map provider. And what I mean by that, notice down here we see it's Microsoft Virtual Earth and we can also use Google or Yahoo and there are a few others that provide the map tiles that represent what you see and so you can change that and I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and close the browser. We'll go back into our project and what we want to do is create a marker variable so that we can add it to the state to the uh, map. So we'll call this private var marker and this is a marker type. And then what I want to do is after the init function is called we want to call another function to add the marker specifically. So I'll just call this add marker and then we add that function private function add marker and it won't return anything and then inside of that we want to instantiate the marker object so we say marker equals new marker and then we want to add that to the map. And what we need to do in order to give it a position, the, there's a property of the marker object called position. And it takes a lat long object or latitude longitude object. So we'll just create one up here. We want to create a new variable. We'll call this position. So private var position. And again, this is a lat long. So down in our add marker function, We'll instantiate that. Position equals new lat long. And inside of here, we want to pass in a decimal value to represent the degrees latitude and degrees longitude. So um, I'll just pick a number uh, one, two, three, four. Oops, negative one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we have a position latitude longitude and we want to add that to the marker so we say marker dot position equals position. Now we can add that to the map and the way we do that is we reference the map and we say add overlay. Now notice we're not adding a child we're adding an overlay. So again marker and let's go ahead and test the movie. And brings it up in the browser and there is our marker. Uh, another property of the map component that we can set is we can set the center of the map as well as the zoom level. So I want to set the zoom level around this position. And the way we can do that, let's go ahead and close the browser. Uh, there's a property of the map called set center. And it takes two objects. One is a latitude longitude and the other is the zoom level. So we've already created our position so let's go ahead and add that and then a zoom level uh, 
we can pick a number and that kind of determines how far away and I I can't remember the low versus the high numbers so I'm just gonna put one oh I remember now uh, the lower the number the farther away the zoom level so the higher the number the closer and I believe it goes from like 1 to 18 or so so I'm just gonna put 12 and let's go ahead and test that see if my memory serves me well so now the map opens and there we are so notice that it's centered on this point and it's at this zoom level so those two variables uh, set it up so that way the map starts at a certain point okay let's go ahead and close this and what I want to do then is talk about stylizing that marker notice that the marker was just a white background well we can add some uh, color and add some things to that so to do that we need to create a marker style variable and so we'll just call this private var style and again this is a marker style and another thing we have to do is inside of that marker style let's go ahead and inside of the when we create it let's ins um, instantiate the marker style object as well so we say style equals new marker style and some of the properties we can change the background color we can change the uh, border or the stroke as they call it as well as you can change the alpha or transparency of the color in the background so for our purposes let's just call this we're just going to deal with a background color so we say style dot fill and we need to give it um, a type of fill object which is a geometry style and the way that works and I'm going to make sure I spell this geometry style dot RGB and this tells what type of fill object it is and now I want to call fill RGB and pass in a hexadecimal number so hexadecimal number to represent a color value so 0x and let's see we'll just pick I don't know we'll do red zero, 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 zero. now we need to assign this marker style object to the marker and we say marker dot set style we pass in that style object all right, so we've got quite a bit here. Let's go ahead and test our movie. And the map comes up. And notice now that the marker has some style here and it's got a color. Now we can add a letter or number to that and the way to do that is through the index property of the marker. So we can say marker.index and it actually takes a string or a number so in this case we can just say like for example letter A and pass that in go ahead and test it and now you see the letter A inside of our marker so again there are a number of things you can do you want to look in the help documentation under marker style to identify the types of colors and and properties that you can change and so this is how you would add a marker and so you can get a sense of what you want if you say for example you're mapping a uh, family vacation route or something you could put markers uh, on the map and uh, show where that happened so the next thing I want to talk about is the providers so one of the properties of the map object and I'll go inside the init function there is a property called set provider and so I'll call map dot set provider and we want to pass in a provider object and so pro whoops providers 
press return dot and then we have these choices so we have Google Microsoft OpenStreet Yahoo uh, dummy which I think is maybe that just means it's false I don't know okay so to so we want let's change this to Google and that's all we need to do so let's go ahead test our movie and so now notice that the map has changed so here we have powered by Google and we get the uh, different tiles and already you can tell that this is a different look right and notice also that the uh, map type thing adjusted so that we have more options available to us based on the map provider that's pretty cool terrain never saw that before satellite and map cool uh, let's go ahead and check out let's see what Yahoo is and let's see what that one looks like and it comes up and look at that totally different and look at the hybrid look at the satellite so there you have it so that's how you change the providers that's how you add markers to the map in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to embed this within a web page for example if you want to add it to your blog and uh, maybe show you some other properties that you can change within the map control